YT, it's your boy Why is the artist back here with another ill reaction, baby. Today we're gonna be reacting to the one and only the YouTube sensation. The one who brought you the one. The one who brings you what's up, fellas? What's up, coach? Put your name on the map. Put your game on the map. Put your fam on the map. Just get on the map, period. You know what I'm saying? The boy just fun, man. But this time I'm hungry. He just told you his I'm name, scratching. Donald Delaham. Starving. He's starving. He's hungry. For my legacy. For my family. family. For my fans. My boy Donald say, yo. This. The ones is over, NFL. man. I'm going to the NFL, you heard? My life may seem perfect from the outside. But on the inside, I feel empty. I've inspired you know millions of people around the world. That, Some people that even right say they look up to me. A true story. Every single day, I look myself in the mirror. You know, everybody like has failure. goals and dreams. Donald and, um, has been ruled ineligible you think that when you accomplish those goals and dreams, you'll be truly happy. But I've known from the first day I kicked the football my freshman year of high school that this game was going to take me very far. Delahaye is one of the top kickers in the area. Aging Sports could get Delahaye a shot at the next level every single day before football practice. I sit on my phone and watch college football highlights. And I always Find visualized myself within. being in that I mean, position. So, and I worked my ass off, bro. You know, you I ended up making my dreams come true by getting a scholarship to play D1 football at the University of Central like, Florida. And once I got there, of course, had to set my goals higher. Like every happy. other athlete playing the game, I wanted to make it to the NFL too. While all this was going on, I also I developed a know, love for creating videos. Was, was, uh, college kicker. <laughs> Play that when I wasn't playing UCF. football, I spent hours on my creative passion. UCF. And eventually, after posting a few videos online and blowing up a little bit, I was faced with the biggest obstacle I've ever faced in my life. I had to pick between both of my dreams, YouTube or football. Wow, what a beautiful day! <laughs> What's up, Coach? Come on, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> what does this thing right here mean to you, bro? That's my life, bro. Basically, I'm ruled ineligible. Because I refuse to demonetize my videos, some that I've worked so hard for. I figured I'd have other opportunities to play football, but right now I captured lightning in a bottle with my YouTube channel taking off. So I had to pursue it to its full potential. That was 2017. Now fast forward seven years later to today. Billions of views and millions of dollars later, I feel like I've accomplished every single thing possible on YouTube. And for a man that has it all, I still feel empty. But now that I've laid all the groundwork Basically, and I've kicked out every single door that stood in my way of playing football the, again, to go to the, the journey NFL. begins now. Okay. I'm nervous. <laughs> now, this is day one. We're about to pull up to um, this facility in Tempe, Arizona. There's this guy, Ian. He's a genius. He takes care of a lot of NFL guys, trains them, make sure they body right, diet, supplements, like everything. Hey, I'm out from so I haven't been to PP before, but I heard that a lot of NFL guys train there. People who are built different train there. So I've seen some videos. I see they got a turf. I see they got weights. Top of the top facility. You feel me? I don't know. It's going to be madness in there. So I'm walking in the building, and first off, it's a long hallway. As you walk in, I feel like that hallway gives you time to be grateful that you're not in pain right now. Be grateful that you're in the moment. Yeah, that's I'm facts. Excited. I ain't going to lie. I'm Being injured right is the worst, bro. <laughs> So I'm walking up to Ian and I say what's up to him and obviously I've heard a lot of things about Ian. Ian is like a mad scientist. He's one of the smartest guys in this industry. Obviously the man is swole, was a bobsledder as well. So my history yeah, dealing with strength like coaches science, and college coaches the is all very loud. Over there, and I approach me? Ian and I start talking to him and he's very he's soft down, dad, quiet. Quiet. body so you are you doing like to work out to the Yeah, there's, I have to go to L.A. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, but I'll be back Tuesday. Probably just like Christmas, maybe yeah. with my family. Yeah, yeah. But I'll figure something out. I got a gym at the crib over there. Yeah, where's your family at? Florida. We're Florida, Florida. Okay. Other than that, we good, man. We locked in. Well, I can't believe y'all can already believe Donald 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 Donald
He's computing some crazy mathematics right now. Right, I told you. He is with the mad scientist. He, Just he looking at him, there's a, a, a few over things that really stood out. One of the key things with uh, kickers is you've got to be able to stop all your momentum and transfer it into your swing leg really quickly. So he's got some strength issues that I think would if they improve would help him. Like, with that sort of had deceleration had process if you want to use that word. Yeah, I mean, this is a scientist with the terms that I knew where he was coming from and I know what he was trying to say. Easy as it looks, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, version of the word. It's real Just tell technique me to that, man. Now, I just wanted to do it. I wasn't that raw at football. I ain't gonna lie. I was okay. I didn't really like football. I ain't gonna lie. Because of the weather, eh? <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I only like playing with football in the summertime, man. Right? Or when it rains, I like playing in the rain. So obviously we have the mad scientist who's just like absolutely genius. He knows cold, bro. everything the inside and out. Moving. A through Z of the body now is supposed you to work. But also, the superheroes like, got them without his helpers you know, inside. And he's saying, you know, the rest of the game. The words of when y'all go, y'all go in the locker room for halftime. She's a yogi, so she knows all about how the body should move. <laughs> yeah, I gotta run you back out flexible. in the cold. Well, I'm like, tell you, she don't use whatever means necessary you know, to get your in the summertime football is fun. Man. It's supposed to hurt or no? It doesn't hurt at all. Okay, it's good now. It's good now. Yeah, we haven't got high up to lateralis yet. You know, he, he's doing some stretches right now. So today right now. was really just getting this right side, you know, the right leg, more so hip into front so side quad. As they mobile like as we can as the left leg. His left leg being his plant leg is obviously really strong and stable. What, and the right leg we want to get on. as much mobility in. So it was a lot of hands, body work, just to kind of see if we can get that towards where the what left leg is. Sense, obviously the imbalances are legs, because of his sport and that's really important. But again, if it's really tight like we saw today, we want to make sure that they probably we start to get that right. I was suspecting to come in there day one and just get straight to work, but it was the pre-day one, day one. The real work starts tomorrow. The real waste starts tomorrow. The real pain starts Tomorrow. tomorrow day one let's do it yeah. early all right let's do it i'm excited i'm excited, I'm excited. and all this work don't mean nothing if you do what you gotta do in the gym leave and then you throw everything to the curb if you're working hard in the gym fact, you but you're missing off and f***ing off at home that means, it's that not mean worth if you, if you go to the gym four or five times a week you can be habits. drinking for pop or, 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 or like major alcohol for real you really can, want you can have a beer here and there but that's it Oh, oh, pouring all, all the party favors out. <laughs> I'm at home. I'm getting rid of all my liquor. I'm getting rid of all my junk food. I'm just instilling good habits. My man, not to my man, destroy it really serious. You feel me? And, um, we gotta leave. Let y'all know, out. like, man, it's, it's all over with, man. I'm done with this. I'm serious about this. As a person who has achieved. 99.999 of my goals if i set my mind to it and i work towards it i most of the time accomplish it and even if i don't i get up and try again i had a dream of playing in the nfl i still have a dream of playing in the nfl and i think that's been the biggest obstacle in my life there's a spot missing inside my heart which is me actually fulfilling this dream of playing professional football there's always that doubt in the back of your head are you good enough i see people it's, it's crazy to think because they say, oh, Got cut from a Canadian football league team. He, he's he wasn't a, good enough he's to a play kicker, so I'd be Maybe wondering, I like, gotten that phone call from a GM or a team. Most kickers really think like that going up because some of them the probably start out playing soccer for real. I'm fully committed. I'm you know, fully locked in. All of a sudden, play football and be like, I want to play in the behind the scenes. We had a 100% Donald. He's not even destroying the world. He was cold at soccer, though. He was a really good football player, but he went to college for soccer. Today he's uh, starting off with some field training. After he gets done with the field training, he's going to come over to the weight room. We're going to work on his lower body strength and conditioning. I thought his workout was about to be easy. I looked at the little play sheet he had. Once I got started, boy, it was a wake-up call. That boy destroying his good work. This is harder than the one. They're probably stretching the MX, MCL. We're that part of workout MCL, where you just be staring aimlessly. You ain't even looking at shit. You're just in your head with thoughts. I just know that because okay. you know, I, I had an MCL. Take 30 seconds after that. And then we're going to come over here. I had to do pull. those type of exercises, but without Under the weight. Just freehand. Big, big hip extension, okay? 
fire your hips through a lot better than I do. So as I'm finishing these kettlebells, did those, they were smooth, went through ball throws against the wall, and I ain't gonna lie to that. I was just kind of confused. I thought it was just reach between your legs and throw it. There was even one point where I hit the roof. Oh. Right, get it out, all right? The other the knees fall here, get to that position, and you're still like on fire. One of the things that I'm always looking to see is, like, uh, is the athlete coachable? What can they do? You know, sometimes we're, we're dealing with complex changes to try and fix, and you give them instructions to do one thing, and, you know, they can screw up everything else, but if they're working on the one thing you're changing, you know, they're listening, they're dialing in, so we had a lot of that going on. That was great. He's surprisingly explosive. He's got a good little pop to him, which is great. He struggles a little bit when load gets a little bit higher. Struggle might not be the wrong word, but he's just not as good when he has to get into positions like he's very that he's not comfortable in, largely about. because of a mobility issue. So day one, we started with a lot of mobility on the ankles. Left, it's looking like. Right. I probably need that mobility right there oh, for the oh, ankles. Oh. <laughs> Everybody out here that ain't had a man ankle sprain. Get them bands there, and do that mobility. Yep, so you're gonna lift here and <laughs> then press ball when we got that. Snap, crack, one pop in there. It looks like, oh, you just doing this, doing that. No, bro. They putting you through it. You gotta be starting working, man. Like, I just want to lay down. Amy makes it look easy because she does it all day, every day, and she's been doing it for years. This non-flexible old man, I feel. That look like a good back right there. That's really good. So then we can open this foot, rub It'll look a lot prettier. Day one went really well. I'm proud of the whole team coming together and Dee's work and excitability towards being here and being locked in. After day one, I'm excited. I know the workout was tough. Y'all see me struggling. But towards the end, I was like, man, is this it? That's that's all? One thing I got to realize that this is a journey. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And we got to take it one day at a time. I can't emphasize enough how, especially over the first few weeks of someone starting to go through the training program, every day is an assessment. I'm interested in making ends opposed to making friends, double bags, I've been paranoid that it's just taking sex, I'm taking shape, finishing his drink should only take a sec, but Mark just cut me off, he told me that I go on stage and tan. I'm sure it's going to be virolic after this. One day, as a bucket list item, I'm going to compete in a bodybuilding competition. How do we be doing this? So I like to use the analogy that your body is a Lamborghini. Whenever it runs out of gas, you pull up to the gas station. You're either going to put the 87 gas in it, you're either going to put the 89 gas in it, or you're going to put the 90 gas in it. Your body is a Lambo. Gas to power it. So all that work you put in does not matter if you f*** around and go kill McDonald's after the workout or something what unhealthy and terrible. Spaces, huh? You're erasing a lot of that progress. Can't be irregular. That boy D from the little awesome spot football. that I like called Chop Shop. And I actually talked to Ian and he recommends it. Um, I'm going to do the spicy curry steak bowl. Perfect. And I got a good healthy bowl, some sweet potatoes, some steaks, some veggies in it. And um, we fuel in this Lamborghini Urus, my boy. So as I'm sitting here eating my food, uh, I just want to check in with Bill. He's one of my um, homies from the XFL. I worked with him a lot last year. D got a series, man. Kind of offered me to play it into the league series, NFL training series. I decided to call Bill and just check in with him. Um, I haven't talked to him in a while. The last time I spoke to him, he said, "Hey, man, we got a spot for you." Now, you want to check up on that spot, yo, Bill? What's the word? You still got that spot for me? Bill, my man, what's good? What Bill talking about? What's up, brother? starts creeping back into your mind are you good enough are you good enough to play professionally are you good enough to live out your dreams man, you, you gotta go for it one time in your life involved, right? there are other other teams involved there's other uh, executives involved i know i'm just kind of thinking about all my choices now and thinking about 
what I want to do moving forward. What do you think is going to be his biggest obstacle in the way of him making it to the NFL? Politics. Facts, man. <laughs> Politics. He said the right thing, man. And hey, let me know if y'all want me to react to uh, episode number two, the man. The day, Destroying. You sit there and try and make it to the lead. No more ones, man. Motivation. You heard? Just take things back to the basics. Take a couple steps back. Go on a journey take with a that boy, breath. Donald. Focus. Just swing. Y'all hey, make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment. As you heard? Till next time, baby.